Okay, everyone, welcome to Kailo Shira in Young Israel of Woodmere, and we're doing this in partnership with Breslov.org. And uh, let us begin. Um, it's so beautiful when this works out that we're actually learning Hilchas Beis Haknesses. Allah hey, we're up to letter Yud Dalid, and it starts off as Zeb Echines Rosh Hashana. How about that? You know, and the, the, the din is that Shleishim Yayim Kaidem Achag. You're supposed to start learning about the Chag, so it's fascinating. It, it, it's always like a, 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 a pat on the back from the Rebbein Shalom when something like that happens. Baruch okay. Hashem. And we'll learn a little bit about Rosh Hashanah from, uh, from Rabbi Nachman, which, you know, we all well know that Rabbi Nachman said that Rosh Hashanah was given to him by Matana, that he understands what Rosh Hashanah is. So let us learn from the Master a little bit what Rosh Hashanah really is. Let's see if we can try to understand. Is that the Rosh Hashanah? Keep Rosh Hashanah never oilam. Right? Everyone knows that, right? Right? This is Machlaikis. It was, it was in the thought and it was created. But, but, but according to everyone, on Rosh Hashanah, the world was created. Either it was in, in, in Machshava or it was either it was in Machshava or it was uh, actually. Okay? But for our practical purposes, that's when the world was created. <clears throat> now, Al Kinoz Anu Aiskim Lasa is Derek Kivusha, Lerit Yisrael. Therefore, we're making our, our we're being kivish. We're trying to conquer and to get there to Yisrael. Shekol Tikvaseinu Loshav Lisham Bekarev. We're supposed to come back there Bekarev. Now, what does that mean? So we said all of our tefillas. We're learning all about Hilchas Beis Haknesses and the importance of Eretz Yisrael in regard to in regard to um, uh, every Beis Haknesses because the uh, Eretz Yisrael is where Kedusha is the, the the source of Kedusha and all the Bate Kinesias draw their Kedusha from Eretz Yisrael. So we're always constantly trying to get and we're davening always towards towards Eretz Yisrael. We're always connecting there. So Kiyikar is Galas. Kedusha Zeret Yisrael, who Rosh Hashanah? Because the main point of the revelation of the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael is on Rosh Hashanah. Well, it makes sense because if the world was created on Rosh Hashanah, and we know that the world came from the Evan Shasia, right? Everything came out of the Evan Shasia. And where's the Evan Shasia? In Eretz Yisrael, right? Kamei Shachos of Tomit, now as we had in the Parsha, Right? So here we have it that Hashem is always paying attention. Where our Kaddish Baruch Hu is paying attention very closely to Eretz Yisrael, more so, so to say, whatever that means than other parts of the world, because we know Hashem takes care of everything. Now, the way Paris Yisrael is drawing from the the Chesed Chinam that the world was built, the, the world was made from. Now, we know that, that the, the world was made, it, is, it, uh, the Schus of Torah keeps the world going. Right? But when Hashem created the world, it was 26 generations till the Torah was given, right? So then, what was keeping the world going at that time if the Torah was not yet given, right? So we, we learned that we learned that it was Chesed Chinam. Hashem gives us gave the world free Chesed. He took care of the world by itself, even though the world wasn't being supported and 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 so to say earned it on its own. But the but the but the world. But the oh, yeah, Shalom Aleichem, Moshe. Okay, fine. There you go. Walking all around, trying to find the You found it. That's the main point. That's the main point. Okay. All right. So, anyone want to add anything on this? Any questions? Any comments on this? No, it's accepted. Amazing. <clears throat> okay. What? And on Rosh Hashanah, we, get, we turn back to this Chesed Chinam. 
right? Because again, on Rosh Hashanah, we, we finished the year, and uh, well, let's, let's put it this way, we don't always do the right thing, unfortunately, and uh, we, we ask that HaKadosh Baruch Hu uh, put us in the book of life, in the book of goodness, right, on Rosh Hashanah, and we're really, we're relying on HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Chesed Chinam, because do, did we actually earn what we, uh, what we had gotten this past year? Or do we really owe Hashem a lot more? So we're, 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 we're turning to Hashem's chesed chinam when it comes to Rosh Hashanah. This is the day where HaKadosh Baruch Hu started, he, he started the creation in the world on Rosh Hashanah. That's the, and, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu used chesed chinam to run the world for the 26 generations. So we turn, ask Hashem to please turn back to the chesed chinam that you used when you originally created the world. Because Hashem made the world with the ten utterances of creation, and He did that with chesed. And therefore, on Rosh Hashanah, we're megala, we, re, we reveal the malchus upon us. The whole point of the Rosh Hashanah is what to coronate the king. Right? What's the whole point of Rosh Hashanah? To re- reveal to the world the Malchus of Hashem. What's the point of Rosh Hashanah? To, sh- to show that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the king. The whole end of Rosh Hashanah is HaMelech. Right? The HaMelech is the, is, the, is the crux of the importance of the day of Rosh Hashanah. To recognize the king. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu made everything in the world for us. He made everything in the world all the countries and all the things and everything, and all the people to help us. Who are Manig? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one that conducts and runs everything. Who are Shalit? Vahamayishel? He runs and rules everything. And originally when Hashem made the world, He gave Eretz Yisrael to them, to the Canaanim, right? And the, the seven, the, the nations there. Uvritzayin not lamehem. And it was his rats, and he took it away from them, Vinas Nalan, and he gave it to us. Now, now I came on the Mispal in Moz, Harbayat Smichas Kevin Mashiach. The whole Rosh Hashanah Tfila is talking constantly. We're making reference to this idea of Smichas Kevin Mashiach. We should have the sprouting, the, 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 revela- the, 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 the revelation. We should see the revelation of the Smichas Kevin Mashiach. The Mashiach should come in Mitzvah Shem. Kibay Shamu, Simcha Leatzecha, Vesosa in Lirecha, Utsmichas Karen LeDavid Avdach. We all remember these words, right? Beautiful words. What? We sing it for All right, Simcha Leatzecha. Right, we all know those words, right? Simcha Leatzecha is the Simcha for the land. Artzecha for your land. The Kodesh Baruch Hu's land. Why does that Eretz Yisrael? The sasa in the Yerecha, and there's a joyfulness for the Yerecha, the city of Yerushalayim. And smichas karen the David Avdecha, and it should be the, the, the showing the revelation of Mashiach in Mitz Hashem. Okay, ki ikar hatikva loshiv laatzenu ayadei Mashiach tzikene. Because the main hope that we have is to all return back one day, hopefully very very soon, today, tomorrow, any day soon. Loshiv laatzenu ayadei Mashiach tzikene. Through the coming of the of Mashiach, who are your day kedushas Rosh Hashanah, and that comes via the kedusha, the holiness of the day of Rosh Hashanah. Shabai nivroil and bechaz daichinam, and that's the day that Hakadosh Baruch Hu made the world bechaz daichinam. Again, Hashem made the world for us, and He kept the world going for the twenty six generations bechaz daichinam. It was to, uh, yeah. Does this to return to our land? I mean, to, to return, uh, we lost that or what? No, we, no, of course we lost it, but we want to return. We want to come back the way we're supposed to have it. it. Sure, sure. sure. Mm-hmm. So we're turning to Hashem. Mm-hmm. The same way, Hashem, you made the world mm-hmm. and you kept the world going when people weren't necessarily worthy of anything because they didn't have the Torah to keep and so on. So to us, we may not have done the right thing always, but please, Hashem, we will rely on your chesed chinam. We rely on that. And this is revealed every single year. Through the Jewish people, through us, by us recognizing 
that, that, that is Hayyoyim Aras Aylam, that this is the day of the world was created, that this is the birthday of the world, and this is when HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world. Shu Yisbarach Bara, Hashem created him, Yach Hashonu Megalen Zois Bevadei HaKol Shayich Lanu. And because we are the only ones in the world that recognize Hashem's Malchus, that I, and recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the world on Rosh Hashanah, and we are working on coronating the king on Rosh Hashanah. So therefore, since everything in the world was made for us, and we are doing what we're supposed to do by showing it's really Hashem's, and because we're doing that, so really everything is, so to say, coming to us. was Hashem's rots and originally to give it to them. Umitam hakomus imai, oh, imai is barach, uber sinai. Not no mayhem vid nas nalano and Akadus Baruch Hu took it from them and gave it to us. Ki bechol Rosh Hashanah, the Rosh Hashanah, who not la mayhem vid nas nalano, Akadus Baruch Hu takes it away from them and he gives it to us again every single year. Ki bechol Rosh Hashanah, the Rosh Hashanah nichna vid noyfel la klipas because all of the klipas, all of the husks, and all the impurity falls. At Rosh Hashanah, Umem Shelas, Umem Shelas, Aiv De Kechavim, and the ruling and the dominion of the of the Avide the Aiv De Kechavim, and all the nations of the world, Al Eretz Yisrael, who are trying to keep and take the world. It's so remarkable today. Every all these countries have so much to say about Eretz Yisrael. Jordan has things to say. France and Germany and Russia. Everyone has something to say about Eretz Yisrael. But in Rosh Hashanah, if we understand the, the, the truth, that the land is really taken from them and given to us, and we really work on that, and, and contemplating that, and concentrating on that, and concentrating on that, so we would realize, really understand this concept, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is mevatel, all of this, this stuff, uh, when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, because we get together. And we say Hamelech, and we recognize Hakadosh Baruch Hu as the King, and we coronate the King by us doing that. We bring the world back to the Tikkun that it's supposed to. And if we really understand that, so then it could be Mavata Legamri, and that's what we're waiting for. The Yosef Yitain Aretz Lanu B'Meheir of Yemenu, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu should give us the land back B'Meheir of Yemenu speedily in our days. Okay, let it test for. Okay, in Rosh Hashanah, who Yoyim Rishon Laseretz Yemei Tshuva. People don't realize that. Rosh Hashanah, there are 10 days, right? The 10 days of, 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 of repentance, right? And the, the first two days of Rosh Hashanah, the first two days of Aseris Yimei Tshuva, right? Out of this Aseris Yimei Tshuva, you have Yom Kippur, and Rosh Hashanah, it's just three days. So you have really seven days that are they're just regular days. Ki Iker HaTshuva, Hu HaYedei HaChesed Chinam. The tshuva comes through the chesed chinim shabai nivra niskayim oilam kaidemat and tayra. La seris yeme tshuva, kiyika tshuva, the main tshuva is. What's the main tshuva? What's that tshuva? Hu ha yedei ha chesed chinim shabai nivra niskayim oilam kaidemat and tayra. Because let's think about it. Really, if somebody does, if somebody does something wrong, how does it work? How can I just say I'm sorry and it goes away? Right, if someone in this world, he, they 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 rob the bank, so they can say I'm, I'm sorry, and they'll, they'll let him go. How does it work? How does tshuva really work? I did something wrong, I transgressed on something, but yet there's an idea of tshuva that I can I can get exonerated from that thing that I did. How does that work? That's a chesed chinam that Hashem gave us. In other words, I did the thing wrong. I did something wrong. So how do I how do I revert how do I turn that back? Because you're a different person. That's the idea of tshuva. You're a different person. Oh, you're could not the same person. but but where does that concept come from that you can that's become that. different? That's chesed chinam. That's a chesed chinam. Kamu v'atay right now. Kamu v'ay kitzas mizel amalim b'devreinu. Ki oisim shikvar ovru al mitzvah satayra. Because those that transgressed on any mitzvah satayra ain lehem kiyam ayadei atayra. They don't have a kiyam because of the Torah. In other words, the Torah says, don't do this, and they did it. The Torah says, don't, uh, 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 don't do this on Shabbos, don't do this, this, and this, don't, uh, don't eat this, don't go here, don't do, this. but they did it. So then how can they have a kiyam via the Torah if the, the, the very thing that'll give them their, 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 their kiyam is, is what they went, they, they went against? 
How can I go back? The Torah said, don't do this on Shabbos. And the person did something that he shouldn't have done on Shabbos. Because, because we didn't over here, when, when a person is taken, when he's, when he's taken to, to Bezdin, Ain Moyo Tshuva. Right? In other words, a person had, with, when, the, when we had a Bezdin, and the person had Adis and, 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 and Asra, right? In other words, he, the, the two Adim said to him, if you do this and this thing on Shabbos, you're going to get stoned. And he says, okay, fine. And he does it anyway. So now they take him, they take him to Bezdin. Can he say at Bezdin, hey, I'm so sorry I did that. I'm so sorry. I, I I shouldn't have done that. I made a mistake. Can he say that? So if someone transgressed something, if someone transgressed a mitzvah, and he did an Avera in this world, he transgressed something. He did a Laisase. And then he was dragged into Bezdin. Can he say he's sorry and the Bezdin will let him go? No, Bezdin won't let him go. Even if he wants the truth, he really feels remorse for what he's doing. And he really feels remorse. He doesn't want. He, he, he's so sorry that he did that thing. It won't help. Bezdin won't, won't exonerate him, won't get, get, take him away. He, he, oh, we, 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 since you did tshuva, you don't have to be put to death. You don't have to get these malkas. No. Vika tshuva shemaya. What's the main tshuva is? Ah, but now, but now, really, so when we, when we did something wrong like that, and if there was a Bezdin, and we would be in trouble, how do we get? How do we get out of it? So when we understand that this idea of Chesed Chinam, that a Kodesh Baruch Hu would get, use Chesed Chinam before the world was even before the world had the Torah, it was running via Chesed Chinam. And when I tap into that Chesed Chinam, when if I tap into that Chesed Chinam, I can get forgiveness for something that the Torah itself can't forgive me, but the Chesed Chinam can. Esrim v'shisha dairis, the same way Hashem kept the world going for 26 generations. Koy de matan taira. Ad shi yakabla Yisrael as a taira until kabola as a taira, right, which was 26 generations from the time of the creation of the world. Kamei kein hiu mekayim harishoyim afal pi sh'oivrim al a taira. And that's how HaKadosh Baruch Hu, even the rishoyim, they don't necessarily want to do tshuva, they don't understand yet, they don't see yet the greatness in tshuva, they don't see the beauty in, the, in Torah, they don't see the beauty in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So how do they keep going? How do they keep their nose? It's not the Torah that's keeping the, the Rasha going, because he's not doing anything to fulfill the Torah. But the Chesed Chinam is what give, gives him vitality, keeps him going, the Chesed Chinam. Actually, Yeshuvu V'yekayimu, it's a Torah. So the same way the world, get this? The same way the world went 26 generations without Torah. And, and, and yet the world, Hashem is, is sustained the world for 26 generations. So HaKadosh Baruch was saying like this, even this, this Yidala, that's a rush at this moment. HaKadosh Baruch will sustain him until he can do his tshuva. It'll be his 26 generations, so to say. The same way that Hashem gave the, the world 26 generations. So this year, Hashem will extend him life and vitality and everything he needs until he can come back to tshuva. And that, where is that coming from? The Chesed Chinam. And because of Rosh Hashanah, that's the time that the world was created. So this Chesed Chinam is drawn back into the world again. The same way that Hashem used Chesed Chinam when He made the world to keep the world going for 26 years. Hashem draws that same Chesed into the world. And that's the way to find our way back home, which is where we belong. And that's why Rosh Hashanah is the first day of Aser Yishimei Tshuva. Because when I realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing everything for me, and I realize I'm not worthy of all these things I have, 
and it's really Hashem just giving it to me as chesed chinam. That itself is the tshuva. Valkein oz maschilin aseret yemei tshuva ki ikir tshuva hu al yedei a chesed chinam. How's that? Because the, really the main tshuva works through the chesed chinam. It's a very important thing to understand because really we we do if someone does something wrong. How can he possibly get forgiveness for it? Because the Torah doesn't allow it. The Torah says he did this thing, he has to be put, he has to be punished. But if he if he relies on the Chesed Chinam, and this is a beautiful thing that we're learning here, if we rely on the Chesed Chinam that's in, reintroduced on Rosh Hashanah, and that's the importance of Aseris Yemei Tshuva, re, the reintroduction of the Chesed Chinam in the world that we can get and rely that Hakadosh Baruch Hu will give us and extend us Mitz Hashem another year that we can find Hashem and we can come back there it's all the way we're supposed to. Now, this is a very important point. Tezayit. And therefore, we're supposed to travel to the Tzadikim on Rosh Hashanah. All circles, all circles in Yiddishkeit would always like to go to their Rebbe, to their, to their Rosh Yeshiva, right? For Rosh Hashanah. They want to be with, that, with, their, with, their, with, their, with the Tzadik in their life. They want to die with their Rabbi. They want to be with their on Rosh Hashanah. Why is that? Because that's the way the world was running. It was going with, through the Chesed Chinam before, before the, the, the Torah was given to us. And that's the way that it's all. There's no one that can draw this in the world. We can't draw this into the world. Look at this, it's a fascinating thing. On Rosh Hashanah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu introduces this Chesed Chinam into the world again, Anu, this Chesed Chinam into the world that we can do tshuva. And the Tzadikim, they keep the Torah, they're learning Torah, they're Isaac and Torah all the time. But you know, the way it is that every time, we're, we're, a Tzadik is still a human being. So a human being has to sometimes, they have to relieve themselves, they have to use the restroom, they have to go take a little spazir, they have to take a walk, they have to relax for a few minutes. So that's the time that the tzaddik is leaving his greatness, so to say, in his learning, in his avaydis Hashem, and he does something pashit, pshitusam. He does something simple, something mundane, something ordinary, like everybody else does. Kamavai hate the right now. Ayin sham. Uvazeh hei mechayin es apishutim shebo'ilam. So in other words, we know that the tzaddikim are always on a very, very high level. But when they're on a high level, they don't, so to say, have anything to do with us because we're not on that level. But when a tzaddik does something simple, right? A tzaddik goes, he takes a walk, he, goes, he takes a vacation, he goes somewhere. And he, he, he's, he's, at a, he's somewhere where other people are. So the other people see, wait a second, this tzaddik is a person like I'm a person. And they see there's a connection between the tzaddik and 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 the person. And there is a, like when we go when we go there to swallow it's a sh- you, you see you see a great tzaddik with Chaim Kanievsky, right? You see a great tzaddik he should be well and start. And so, what do I have anything to do with him? He understands kolatay he, rekulai. He can think. He can he can go through mesechdas in his mind. In, 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 in moments that I, I, can, I have nothing, I, I can't do anything like him. But yet the tzaddik still has to stop to eat. The tzaddik still has to stop to go to relieve himself. The tzaddik has to still do things as normal people do. When he does that, when he does something simple, I have a connection to that. I also have to go eat. I also have to go use the rabbi. I also have to do these things. So we see a connection between the tzaddik and the people. You understand what I'm saying? Because on a regular level, the tzaddik is much greater. But when he does something simple, is our connection to the great people. When they're doing something simple. So Reb Chaim Karachi makes a yeah. say that every, makes a seem every year Pesach. Bavli, Yerushalmi, yeah. Medrash, Shrabbat. Yeah, Tavon, call it Tavon, 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 yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Doing this for, he goes up by heart. Right, right. That's what I'm trying to say. So really, what? So what? So what? So what do we? So what do we have in connection then? So we're learning here is when when the tzad, when the tzaddik still has to do something like I do. He has to put some food in his mouth. He has to do something. He has to do something on again. He's he's a human being. 
So then at that time, I see a connection. There's something I have, I have in connection with the tzaddik. I can also do that. I can't finish Kalatayi Rikula every pair of Pesach like the tzaddik does, but I can eat like the tzaddik eats. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right? Hey, my nashim shoot the mamish. Right, then the tzaddik is giving vitality to even the simple people, the very, very simple people. Everyone at some time has to be mevatal Torah on some level, right? Because they have to do something simple, right? And even those that are very distant from Torah, they have nothing, no connection with Torah. We need this on Rosh Hashanah to connect to the tzaddikim, to connect to these people that can help us to connect to the chesed chinam. Because everyone has to do tshuva on Rosh Hashanah. That's the connection. See, the tzaddik, look, look, here's, here's another beautiful connection that we're saying here. Even the tzaddik has to do tshuva on Rosh Hashanah. I do tshuva on Rosh Hashanah. So now I'm doing something like the tzaddik is doing. Right? Even those great people that are studying Torah and they're being Ayv the Hashem the entire year. They have to also do Tshuva on Rosh Hashanah. Because it says, Because there's no Tzaddik in the world that doesn't do anything wrong. Everybody does. We're, we're human beings. Human beings are designed to fall, to, to, to fail. So how do you say Hashem is giving this um, the tzuvah you know, on a three day? I mean, we still have to do the, the, the tzuvah. Sure, so but then we were, so we're, we're, no, we're, 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 we're learning here. Now, where does this idea of tzuvah come from? How do we understand this thing of tzuvah? So we're learning here that the tzaddikim, we have to be connected to tzaddikim. And then whereby by us being connected to him, how are we another connection? How are we connected to Tzadikim? Because I do tshuva and be by Rosh Hashanah, Sarah Shemei tshuva. The Tzadikim are doing the same thing. So I have now I have a connection to the Tzadik. So by Hashem giving us the ability to do the tshuva, he's, he's, that's, like, that's like the gift He's giving us. Of course, it's a gift. Oh, sure, it's a matnas. It's a free gift. We get a free gift from Hashem. Matnas chinim, a free gift. Okay, a free pass, a gift. Yeah, because she came. Shall P. Roy be frat be doires halolo? Rav Nassim was writing this two over two hundred years ago, right? Because <laughs> again, shall P. Roy be frat be doires halolo? In these generations, he was writing that they were doing so many things. In other words, even the great Sadiqim, they do something wrong, but not everyone else is doing everything always right. And that was like, so could you imagine in our generation? Ain Matsu Tamat Chachem Vilamdin. You can't find a tzaddik and a lam, a lamid. You can't find any tzaddikim that are not that are not full. They have their problems again on their levels, but they have their problems on their levels. Because again, shara and nashim to nikreim leim the v'chasidim, and 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 especially those that are called leim the v'chasidim, they ain't them nikiyim klal. They're not nucky. They're not clean at all. They, we all need to make tshuva. Kashehim yoydim ba'atzlam negiye alivavam amachayavim, and we understand our pains and our. our everyone understands yadei enish benafshe. Right? Everybody knows. Their shortcomings. Every yid knows their, in their own heart their shortcomings and what they should do better. No one knows themselves better than they know themselves, right? They know, everyone knows themselves what they have to do. And those that are, that are very, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, very, very earthly uh, uh, people. They are very, they are very, they are very involved in, in things, and then and, and they're they gashmias. How came bevadei a kol tzrichin lashav? So therefore, we just we just proved that everybody has to go and make tshuva when it comes to Rosh Hashanah. No one, no one is exempt from that. Virkira tshuva u bekayach apshitas. Amitim shalat tzadikim anal, and this is through the pshitas so of the tzadikim amitim. In general, because when they are doing their simple things, they are giving chias to the whole world. They are not necessarily and even those that are rochuk Because the same way, those that are rochuk don't have a connection to the Torah. When the tzaddik is doing something, he has to go to use the restroom, so to say. 
So then he has no connection. He's not allowed to learn Torah in the, in the bathroom. So again, he can now give chiyas to the same way that tzaddik has his chiyas. He can give chiyas to the to the rasha also. through the chesed chinam. Because again, when he's not learning Torah, how is he getting? How is he con- continuing? Because of the chesed chinam. Because when the time that Tzadik is studying Torah and he's doing his Avaydah Hashem and Tvila, on the Rechaikim and we're very distant from them, right? Like you said before, Maisha, right? When, when the Tzadik is doing his thing, I have no connection with him. He's way, he's light years ahead of me. I have no, I, 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 I can't relate to that at all. I can't connect to the light, the greatness of the tzaddik when he's when he's doing his thing. Rock base, but she do some. But when they are doing things in a simple way, on their level, what they have to do in a simple way, hey, my readings from they lower themselves at that time. Elenu to us become become a tachbulis with so many so many strategies, tachbulis strategies. In other words, they use different things. Many times at Sadi, many, many times you'll see a Rebbe will take the child to the to, 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 to them, he'll take them bowling, he'll take them to a baseball game. Why is he doing that? The Rebbe wants to take them to a baseball game. Yeah, they do that. Yes, they do do that. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Because they want to be able to relate to the child. The, the Rebbe will go and take a baseball bat and he'll play ball with the kids. Why is he going to do that? Because if the kids think only the Rebbe is so great, and how am I? I have nothing to do with this with my Rebbe. My Rebbe is so great. What do I have to do? But when the Rebbe goes and takes out the bat and the ball, and he plays with them ball, wow, my Rebbe is, is he's cool. He's, he's like me. Wow, I, I, I can now, maybe I could learn something from the Rebbe. Before I thought they, he, he's way ahead of me. But when I see he does things like I do, oh, then, then he, 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 we, we, we feel a connection to the person. To the tzaddik, kedei lachi is saying them in order to give us life. Lenetzach leman yuchlu loshev kol apshutim varechaykim shabaylam in order to bring back all of the all of those simple ones and the varechaykim shabaylam mitz Hashem al kein tzrichim the nesaya al rosh hashanah. Therefore, we travel when it comes to rosh hashanah. Kikir is galus achesed chinam because the main revelation showing of the chesed chinam. Hanal shabai mechayin of kaim and hakol who berosh hashana daika kivoi nivra oylam vechanal because that's when the world was created like we learned before. So now we're learning like this. Hakadosh Baruch Hu made the world, and for twenty six generations the world was existing, and the world was existing without the Torah. So we want to know how was the world existing without the Torah? This Hashem designed the world to exist with the Torah. How can it be that the world is existing without the, was was existing without the Torah? So we understand that Hashem ran the world with with Chesed Chinam. So if, Wait, say again, the Torah was when? Torah the Torah was, was given twenty six generations into the creation of the world. Before the Kodesh Baruch Hu says, "Use the Torah as a blueprint." For Hashem did, but when did we when when did we start practicing Torah in this world? 26 generations into the world. Beginning with Avram? With who? Avram Avinu, no, no. 26 no, generations was Maim and Asinai. 26 generations. Avram Avinu perceived the Torah, but he wasn't commanded on the Torah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in other words, the world was, was run through Chesed Chinam, through Til Matan Torah. Once we got Matan Torah, then then we could we we keep the world going, so to say, with Limud Torah. But but any time we learn Moshe, that if we do something wrong, if we transgress something in the Torah. So now, how can I the, the Torah give me Chiyah? How can I get my Chiyas from the Torah if the, if I went against the Torah? So that's why it's so important Rosh Hashanah. Why? Because Rosh Hashanah is when the world was created. And when Hashem created the world, He created the world with Chesed Chinam. And He kept the world going with Chesed Chinam. Because there weren't always such great people living it during all those generations. And Hashem kept the world going Chesed Chinam to get to Ma'amir Asinai. So we say Hashem, the same way, the same way you kept the world going for 26 generations before Matan Torah. And when you created the world, now it's the birthday of the world. And this is Ayoy Maras Adlam. And this is the same time you created the world. So Hashem, please bring us back to Chesed Chinam. Judge me and use, give me a Chesed Chinam. Let me tap into the Chesed Chinam in order to get together a beautiful year, Mitz Hashem. And then we learned why do we go to the Tzadikim? Because the Tzadikim 
we have to connect to the tzaddikim because the tzaddikim are the ones that are always that that are that are closest to the Torah. They keep the Torah. But we learn that when the tzaddik is is uh, does something in it with a pshitas, that the tzaddik has to do simple things. So then we too can also feel a connection to the tzaddik because we also do those simple things like the tzaddik does. Now we go to the and now when but when but and what's our connection? What's our connection to the tzaddikim? Because we do things wrong. And also the tzaddikim have to do tshuva because it's ain't tzaddik. Right? There's no tzaddik that lives in the lives in the world that doesn't do something wrong. So they're doing tshuva. I'm doing tshuva. So that's why we travel to the tzaddikim to be able to connect to connect to the tzaddikim, which is connecting to the to the yom tov of Rosh Hashanah, and they understand best on how to coronate the king to say ha melech the right way. What it means ha melech to connect to the king, the melech malchi amlochim. We understand it, and then mitzvah. Hashem, that's what it means. Why we travel to the tzaddikim on, on, on for Rosh Hashanah to be with them, and and why we, it's so important for us to always connect to the Chesed Chinam. And now we'll take our break. Yeah, but, no, yeah. but even though we even though we've gone the Torah, like.